This is the Real Ass Podcast. Yeah, I mean, look. You, you never even heard about that, did you? No, I heard about that. I just didn't care as much. <laughs> <laughs> I used to work right by I'm there. a criminal. Look, when I'm a criminal, <laughs> I don't expect people to protest on my behalf. If you're wrong, yeah. You know. But that, it's, that is like the coldest. It's right off the water. Like that building is the last building before the water right there it gets so fucking cold i remember walking to work around there and it would be like not even as cold as it was then and just yeah. i couldn't i was like i'm gonna fucking die yeah i feel bad and that's fucked up you don't and, seem and like it lewis the, re- the reality is that they're gonna sue the fuck out of the city and they're gonna win they're gonna be a big class action lawsuit yeah um but you know <laughs> what the hell is your problem <laughs> what am i supposed to say <laughs> <laughs> Why are you in the detention center? You know, dog, you got to look in the mirror. Because you got to figure out what happened. Yeah. I bet if you. If you can't afford bail. Temple, let's be real. Go ahead. Okay, let's just be real about this. Let's be real. 98% of those people in the detention center are guilty. Jesus Christ. <laughs> guilty. Jesus. I'll tell I would. I would be willing to bet that 98% of them are guilty of that crime that they're in there for or something <laughs> guaranteed something <laughs> jesus i mean come on you put a fucking camera on the wall old Doesn't money republican lewis gomez <laughs> <laughs> <Louis> J. Gomez. <laughs> <laughs> Louis J. you Rocker are the family. reason why the system works <laughs> Doggy, I, I, i'm not i'm not saying it's right i'm just saying i can't spend that much energy i know you got shit to do got a little bit of money in his pocket now yeah, he has to support to struggle I, what i've I got supposed? i've got First world problems. I got to get my not first world problems. together so I can go to Canada and smoke weed in I a do. basement and talk <laughs> shit. But I've for been, money. I've committed crimes. And when I commit those crimes, you know, it's, uh, you, you, mm-hmm. it, uh, yeah, I'm just saying I don't, <laughs> my, I, my sympathy stops before I get to criminals. Okay. You know? Okay. It just stops before you. It doesn't really. Now those little now Mexican, those Mexican children, children had cocaine in their assholes. It stops before it gets to those Mexican <laughs> children. I gotta be honest with you. I don't really care. Okay, who, you didn't. Okay, do you that's feel fine. Sorry for that's it. fine. As long as you don't give a fuck about. It the would have kids. to be my son directly being frozen to death in a cell. Okay. Even oh, I if he was your son as a Mexican child. <laughs> <laughs> Even if he was guilty. Yeah, I mean, yeah, of course, because I'm selfish. But okay. this is the way everybody really is. Yeah. You know, I mean, come on. The, the difference between me and everybody else is people are pretending to care. You don't care, Temple. I empathize. You don't care. The, I empathize. The, you really. don't. I do. Were you out there protesting, Dave? No, I was He was in that cell. <laughs> <laughs> he was in Wilkes Barre's uh, Grand. You know how hard it must be to figure out if those guys have frostbite? <laughs> 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 Saw the fingers off. We can't take any chances here. Um, we'll have diabetes anyway soon. <laughs> listen, I, I, I'm not even, I'm just being, it's, if you are a person in that situation, you should really care. If it's your family member, you should really care. And if you have enough time, if there's so little going on in your life that you <laughs> somehow can find compassion inside, you've all the shit going on in the world, if you if there's so little going on in your life that you've been Think able you're to gonna f- go bang on a pot for chili felons. <laughs> yeah, what do you want me to fucking say? Uh, what are we talking about here? I mean, and, and no. people are calling me an asshole, but nobody gives a fuck. The difference is I'm articulating it. Who did I'm just go down there the with words. the pot, though? Who, who came down with the pot like, that bitch. on the train? Yeah. <laughs> that, like those, New the, Year's Eve. <laughs> <laughs> those protesters, God bless their souls, but, you know. I send them a pack of fuck I love, I them. love, like, your, um, what is that? Like, when people do the, the, the tele things to raise money. Tell tell like, there's nothing going on in your life. <laughs> That you can come down here and protest. We'd love to have you. I'm just saying, if that's where your life is at, God bless you. You have a great life. Yeah, because they don't have to go to work. You have they nothing don't. going on yeah. where there's there's nothing filling that void of like c- compassion and need and desire. Where you're like, let me go fucking protest with these prisoners without lights. Well, I think mm-hmm. for most people it is. It's like they see the news story. You feel bad. But then it's like, all right, I got to be up at 6 o'clock to go to work. And yeah. And you know, go to my second job or, you know, look after my kids or whatever. So... Uh, you, what can you really do? Yeah. Well, I mean, at least even even with the passive aggressive social media justice people, they weren't even on top of this as much as they were like these other documentaries yeah. about kids who got raped as 30 they years ago. shouldn't be. I got to be honest with you. People should be busier. They should be busier. Yeah. They should have more going on than g- prisoner protests. That's mm-hmm. I've, I 
I like to I as like you to, just advertised seven thousand hours of <laughs> podcasts. <It's true. laughs> Go catch up on my podcast. There had to be one guy in the prison that was like thrilled though because it was too cold to get a boner for the other guys. <laughs> <laughs> Safe for the week. Yeah, yeah. thermals just, for all. Just some queen that's still thinking about dick. Yeah, <laughs> um, it, it's and I feel like maybe my point is being a little bit misrepresented here. No, I get what you're saying. You're articulating your truth. You're you're yeah, it's you're just, Liam Neeson the thing you know, this thing right now. Yeah. Liam J. Neeson. <laughs> <laughs> it's Liam J. Neeson. <laughs> Is there an update on Liam Neeson? Whatever ha- ended up happening with him. I think the movie didn't do that well. British white man. It'll be fun. Yeah. 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 We're way too we're way too freaking out about race stuff now. I thought we were it was sort of going away for a minute. No. It is going go away. Right. I think it's going away. I think now, like Racism and classism is almost done. I think it's now it's just like put a topic out on social media and we divide on that and argue for like three, four days and yeah. then we reset and start all over again. It's just sort of fun to do that. It's almost like we we should be becoming better at arguing because we're just constantly doing that. Um, but nobody actually has any real passion for anything because there's there's a new topic every few days. You don't actually really care. You don't, you know, yeah. to really care about something, you have to fucking research it and look at it from different angles. You have to really get like that bitch who lived with <laughs> apes in the jungle. What was the woman? Jane Goodall. Jane Goodall, right? She didn't just fucking read a couple blog posts about monkeys and like, oh my God, I care about yeah, apes yeah. now. This bitch spent 20 years living in the fucking jungles with apes. Okay. And that's like, that is fucking passion. I respect her opinion. On apes. I respect your opinion on fucking chimpanzees. Whoa, whoa, wait. wait Mark wait, it wait. down. Louis J. Gomez respects Jane Goodall. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. But that's not ridiculous as going down to Sunset Park with a pot. Like 20 years in the jungle with apes. This is a bitch whose life is clearly I'm not doing super that. empty. Also, once again, bitch is super empty. Her life has nothing else going on. I Usually after her. those 20 years, they date Louis. It's <laughs> <laughs> pretty good. Um... No, the oh, point of all, of all of this is <laughs> we should have sent Jane Goodall into the prisons. She could have helped. Well, it's taught him sign language. We need, <laughs> we need empty They could have sent Cole like in sign language instead of banging on the walls <laughs> and trying to communicate. Uh, <laughs> they could have they taught him the word for blanket. 